My my guess? Cinematic. No. Well, not yet anyway. One is gonna ring and it's going to be Molly again or whatever. Are survivors? They're not doing too good. It's Caustic's voice actor. Oh. Or me. Hello. Did you come from the crash site like the others? Apparently I'm in the game. All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. The crash site? How did you know about the... The crash site. Don't you remember? <coughs> Another one suffered from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too <coughs> weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? What is this place? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? The houses became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the roads clear. Will someone come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. But this time of year... There's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. He's gonna ask us to fill up their food Maybe storages and fix the acoustic. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back. And we can try to figure out what can be done for them. This might be serious. I've done what I can. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna check you over. Let's see what's this is kind of cool. Oh, Dimitri is not doing. I'll what? see if I can help. Why can't you check that guy? I just stepped over that guy. Be serious. <coughs> I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need, but there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't Yeah, but we I just go into shock. <laughs> just said that when I saw this guy. Die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon, before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors. Minister to them. But you you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty, but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. How will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. You keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. Is he pushing me out? Thing. Yes. Well, no. Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken hearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are, searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, 
That will help to start their healing process. Yes. It's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, what a weird any thing to say. information that would help to identify <clears throat> those who did not survive the crash, <clears throat> that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm... I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I... I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for you. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. Yeah, he's kind of like me, even in the sense that he's sending other people to do his dirty work. Just kind of what I do in Phasmophobia. Hello, Molly. So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You're heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the car. You're a doctor. You're not gonna leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> Wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? <coughs> Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well... I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure... Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. <laughs> but if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks. I, I hope it's to going to be a rifle. Oh, so you know what? We're going to sleep before we head out, if you find a place to sleep. This will come in handy. Pleasant Valley Collectible Part 2 Parnell was out checking road conditions for his next delivery and saw some of those three speaker maniacs lurking near the highway passes in and out of the valley. He wasn't sure what they were doing, but we need to stay vigilant. Oh my god, the crash, crash site is really far. Like crash shite, am I right? <laughs> of course I am right. This stuff will come in handy. How are we to wait? We're good, we're good. Can we can we sleep somewhere here? I guess I can use my own bedroll here. Forced to eat meat. Well, let's sleep, sleep like three more hours and then head out. 
All right. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. Bye bye. Um. I'll take this bedroll and leave this here. Music, come on. Is that fire from the crash? Help me, friend. Yeah, let's get him. Those are bunnies. I don't like how dragged out this is. And yeah, that's gonna be the crash. Should move this way and cross the river. Holy fuck, this wind. This is really scary.
I don't like this Timberwolf pack thing. They're cold as shit. Oh, really? Bears and wolves. Not a fan of this whole situation. Oh, thank God. They fucked off. I really hope we can find some shelter in that house ahead because we are freezing. So cold, I'm warming up a bit. Okay, we can survive this. There we go. Let's make some more water. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. All right. Not how I planned this to go, but alive at least.
We are well fed. I feel like when I was playing the dude, um, I missed out on revolver because I definitely found revolver ammo. Also, when I saw this just now, it looked like a warthog. Like its face. It's like, you can probably see it. I don't need to outline it. Wild hog. Piggy, piggy boy. Oh yeah, our clothes are kind of torn now as well. I mean, you know we'll find some cool loot <laughs> at the plane crash site. Or maybe there's going to be someone there. And we'll have a short interaction. Oh, we're still super far. And we're getting very cold again. Ah, uh, we have wolves. Please don't be that tinder or timber pack nonsense again. It is, isn't it? This is lovely. Founded in 1919, Thomas's Crossing remains the only significant community in Pleasant Valley. With a history tied to the farming and mining concerns of its residents, the isolated town followed its own path along the boom and bust cycle of Great Bear Island industry. With greater and greater instability due to seismic activity, the workings in the nearby mines proved too dangerous for later generations to exploit. And with the arrival of local activists determined to keep new industry from taking root in Pleasant Valley, Thompson's Crossing began its steady decline. Aww. I thought that was a hat. It's just beef jerky. Yeah. I think we should sleep a bit here. Four hours maybe. I'm I'm pretty sure it's not time sensitive doing. Even though, you know, like from a narrative standpoint it probably is. 